everybody, it's Kathy Ballard here and for those, for those of you who don't know me, I'm an intuitive transformation coach and I work with individuals to help them really believe in themselves so much more, to connect with the higher self and the inner guidance and really know the value of what they're here to do in the world so that they can get aligned with their purpose and um, clear out whatever's in the way of them creating another life that they really want to experience. And um, so what I wanted to talk to you today is what happens in the, when you're trying to manifest something and it doesn't seem to be working. And uh, quite often we give up and we tell ourselves, oh God, it's, it just doesn't work, this manifesting stuff. It might work for other people. It's not working for me. I can't do it. And you know, I've been like that for such a long time and it was um, maybe only earlier last year that I really kind of um, got to grips with this because I always used to just sabotage it at the last minute. So one thing that you need to know is that when you're manifesting, you're setting, you are a powerful, powerful creator. You are an infinite being in this physical body that you're in at this moment for this life. But essentially everything is energy and your physical body enables you to experience who you are in the physical world. But you're, you, are, you come from source, you come from the universe and when you kind of like go into that real truth about who you are, you are infinite. There is no... Uh, edges between you and the rest of the universe and when you come from that place you are tapping into pure creative energy and you can create whatever you truly desire because you will feel it in your heart and that your heart is what guides you to create what, what you want to create and it's what leads you forward in life to, to grow into who you're here to be in this life which serves the greater community, the greater good. So what normally happens though is we, we feel a, an, um, a strong desire in our hearts to be more than who we are being and to experience something even more magical or, or to, maybe it's just to feel more happiness, more peace, more um, feeling more aligned, whatever it is. It's about... Um, so you're following that impulse from your heart and you put it out there with, with your heart wide open and you feel great about it and you do all the manifesting steps which is to focus on the end result of who you want to be, the vibration that you need to be in when you've received it, which is what you need to do. And then something happens. You're, you know, it might be, you might be practicing this every day for two, three weeks, and then you just end up feeling, oh, nothing's happening, and your energy drops, or you start to feel really tired, and or your head starts to fill with um, think ideas maybe that distract you. You might start feeling quite low energy, or you might start getting aches and pains, or there's all kinds of things that might show up. I'm going through this at the moment, and uh, so, which is why I wanted to sort of share this in a live stream today. So, and, and you forget that you've set this powerful intention and you're a powerful being because the universe is working with you to bring you what you've asked for. But in order for you to be a vibrational match for, the, for what you want, to be that future version of you, you have to let go of something. You have to let go of the heavier, denser patterns that are within you. So this future version of you is vibrating at this level and you might be here and you've got all of these like patterns within you. So the universe brings you situations to trigger you or it just uh, allows you to bring up all of the junk that's inside. All of the whinging and the moaning and the I can't do it because and all of that head talk that just kind of sits there and distracts you from from what you say you want and if you allow it to take you off course you tell yourself oh it, it doesn't work and it wasn't meant to be or um, 
I'll do it next time or or you you know you, you talk yourself out of it and and that's where your sabotages the, the saboteurs they win and so what I'm trying to I'd, what I'd love to um, kind of encourage you to do is to stick with it so it might feel really yucky when you're in the gunk but you have to shift your state you have to find a way to really dig deep and just first of all notice that this stuff that's coming up is coming up because you've set the intention so it, it that you're the creator so it's there it's it's meant to be there but it's lifting out it's not something to react to it's just something to observe as it comes out and and comes up to the surface to be released keep keep going with it you will get through it as I say, it's happening because you've set a powerful intention and you have to release these patterns that are in you in order for your in order for your vibration, as you release them, it goes higher and higher and higher. And eventually, when you've let go of all these patterns, it, it's at the same level to what you want and you effortlessly just attract it. So, and, and that's why it feels um, easy when you are in that place. So... Um, as you're, so it's very easy to get distracted by the gunk. It's very easy to feel stuck in it, feel the heaviness. But you can do lots of different things to try and distract yourself from it. One thing is to get into the body, um, do yoga, tai chi, something like that, or just dancing. Um, particularly something that expresses this energy. So it's not about, don't push it down, don't try and push it away, don't even try and understand it, it doesn't matter. Um, don't let your head get involved with trying to look at stories and meanings and none of that's important. What's important is just allowing it to come up and lift out of your system and it will take some time but as long as you don't resist it, it will shift. And on the other side of that is much more joy and lightness and happiness and a sense of peace and ease because you're kind of allowing the flow of life to start moving again because you know it, most of the time we don't like to feel all of this stuff so we like we put the barriers up we we put resistance up to feeling it and it's so important to drop that to allow the feeling to experience the discomfort but to let it pass through us so um, other things that you can do are, um, what have I written here? So you can do automatic writing, like flow of consciousness writing, and just write whatever stream of consciousness stuff is in your head onto a piece of paper and uh, just allow it all to come out, to flow. Don't judge it, don't let the sensor get involved. Just write everything. Any If it's whingy and moany and poor me, all of that energy, that's great. Just get it out. This part of you, this part that wants to keep you in the familiar, in the safe, the ego, it doesn't like going anywhere that it doesn't uh, know already. And so when you set your intentions to be um, experiencing something new and different, it, it tries to put the brakes on. And this is where you have this like pull inside in two different directions from your head and from your heart. Um, and that's partly what the tension is that you might feel. Um, so you need to find a way to e express this, to not hold on to it and um, allow the energy to move, to change your state and underneath that you'll find your joy. Now another thing that you can do uh, as a, a meditation is something I do really regularly which, which is really powerful and it's very simple. You can connect yourself Imagine that you can connect to the earth um, and connect to above. So imagine that you're drawing down a column of light and that you have your energy field around you. And I call this the washing machine. So what you do is you draw light down through the crown of your head and you feel it flowing right down through all of the energy centers in your body. And then you imagine that it's filling up your energy field from the bottom. So you feel this light, like a pure liquid light, filling up past your ankles, past your uh, lower legs, up past your knees, up past your thighs and into your hips. And kind of like filling up past your body, 
So it, it, it's like the washing machine filling up for a cycle and, and you fill it up right past your head and then you imagine it swirling round and round and round and really getting into all those parts of your your body and your energy field where this stuck heavy energy is, where any of that story is like um, stored within your cellular memories. And um, you can just imagine it or sense it or just set the intention for it to kind of like lift out any of that dark stuck energy and you just keep swirling it around for just for a couple of minutes really, it doesn't take very long. And then when it feels like you've got pulled all of this gunk out of you, imagine the bottom of your energy field opens up and all of that light, that liquid light that's holding the darkness, like sinks down into the earth to be transformed. And when it's totally emptied out, you close the bottom of the energy field again and, and again you repeat it and you allow this light to come in and down and through you. And this is like the second cycle of the washing machine where you put the conditioner in. So <laughs> this is, um, so again, you just allow it to fill you back up, up your legs, up through your body and, and up to the top of your head and just swirl it all around you and just sit in that energy and just feel how different it feels. Notice uh, any of the, the differences from how it felt before. And... When you're in that space, notice your energy will be lighter and it's from here that you can then reconnect with that vision of what you want to create in your life. It's so much easier to go from this space where your heart's open, where you feel really happy and you know you can connect with, with that vision of what you want. Because when you're in the shit and you're just feeling like, Ugh, you can't go from there to that joyful place uh, where you're you know where you can see your vision it's it's really impossible and so you're putting out energy that will counteract um the the, the creative energy that, that you're wanting to put into the universe if that makes sense so do this exercise i promise you it works so powerfully and um yeah reconnect with your vision feel it in your heart feel the lightness and then send that out into the universe picture yourself as if you've already got, you've already experiencing uh, what you're wanting to experience and just focus on all the things that you can be, do and have when you have it and the impact it makes on the people that you love around you and on the world at large so that you're back in that high vibration state that you need to use for creating your manifesting. Other than that, if you need some proper focused help and you really want to make some big leap forwards in, in your business or your life, then contact me for a complimentary 30 minute conversation and we can just have a chat to see how um, working with me to help you sort of get back into the flow, help you release your uh, blocks to abundance and to help you really get a clear vision can help you kind of move forward in life. So that's it from me this lunchtime and uh, I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.